Alliance is an active advocate for Canada's high-tech industries. Our program is called Innovation Nation, and we have some of the best experts in Canada leading our advocacy causes. So spend a few minutes with Russ Roberts as he brings us up to date in the important area of shred tax credits. Russ Roberts, I understand the CRA has released a number of documents uh, for input, consultation, guidance from the industry, and that these views are due by August the 4th. Uh, what is your perspective on uh, this uh, next step in consultation? Yes, John, they have. This is part of their consolidation project. Uh, in principle, they are not changing policy. It's supposed to be clarification. Uh, there are a significant number of documents that were just released and a short period to comment and it's really a busy time. Possibly the most important document in that set is a document that explores what is eligible, how you treat eligibility and defines eligibility. It's a, uh, fundamentally a replacement for IC 864 and the associated documents. Um, we have been encouraging our members to take a very close look at that document. It is very important. It sets the principles of what will be treated as eligible by CRA, not only for the future, but quite frankly, from what we're hearing, goes back into the current existing claims that are there. And this is what CRA is actually telling our members. For the eligibility document, uh, what are the risks here for uh, for a company that, that has been claiming or is looking to make its first claim? They're actually very significant because uh, if the document is not clear, there are about five or six critical issues that need tests that we can understand and apply. If the document muddles them or it provides multiple choice answers that give you different results, Really, quite frankly, you can't file with confidence. When you can't file with confidence, you do not have a tax credit that you can use with confidence. Therefore, this whole issue about the effectiveness of tax credits comes into play, and you don't have a tax credit that's effective. You have quite a sizable uh, social community on LinkedIn, uh, Russ. I think uh, 550 individuals having conversations, providing insights, uh, where does uh, the LinkedIn social media conversation stand now? What's being discussed on that medium? Well, right at the moment, there are three major threads. One of the threads, of course, is the new policy positions on eligibility of the CRA and how they are actually playing out in the reviews and audits and uh, the impact of these. They're significant. They're well documented and well commented on. Um, the community really is very concerned about the press that is coming forward, the positions being taken in the press, that the work of the consultants is very expensive and that the program is a very expensive program and perhaps abusive. Uh, quite frankly, most of the work that's being done by consultants reflects the complexity of the legislation of the way the CRA is applying it and uh, a major portion of the, of the claims are having to be done with the assistance of consultants. Um, and probably CRA has not released any information on it. The amount of claims or the number of claims that are actually di uh, really difficult or abusive may be very small. Historically, the program has a very good compliance weight from, from the point of view of compliance uh, theory. 